Hello traders. Welcome to your third session of price action lecture series. In this session, you will be learning six price action strategies, out of which three strategies will be for uptrend, which you can use for finding buying opportunities, and three strategies for downtrend, which you can use to find shorting opportunities. First, we will be covering two strategies in which the first one is called uptrend type one, and the other one is called downtrend type one. We are discussing both these strategies together as the rules for both these strategies are almost same, but just that one is for finding buying opportunities and the other one is for selling opportunities. So let us start off with uptrend type one strategy. As discussed in uptrend, the stock has to make higher low and higher high. So let's see that now. Here it is low, then high, higher low. It is higher low because the current low is higher than the first low, and finally higher high because the current high is higher than the previous high. So then we have to wait for it to retrace up to this level, to a level where it acts as a third support line. This is the first support level, and this is the second support level, and this is the third support level. In this level, we need a final confirmation. Yes, in uptrend type one, we need in total three confirmation before we enter the trade. The first one is the stock has to make uptrend, which it has already done here in this example. The stock has to retrace and act as third support level. That also is done here. And finally, it has to give reversal pattern in the third support level as a confirmation to buy the stock. So what are the reversal patterns I'm referring? In uptrend type one strategy, there are three reversal patterns. The first one is bullish engulfing pattern. The second one is mother baby pattern, and the third one is bullish three candle pattern. If you get any of these three pattern in the third support line, then you can enter the trade. These are very basic chart pattern that every trader has to know. But still, I would like to cover this in this session as these patterns are very, very important. The first one is bullish engulfing pattern. So why do we call this bullish engulfing pattern? Because green candle, which is a bullish candle, has completely engulfed the previous red candle. Engulfing means covering it completely. So let us understand what has happened here. The market made higher high and higher low, which is uptrend confirmation. Now the stock is coming down and acting as a third support line for this uptrend. After touching the third support line, there are high chances for the market going down, isn't it? That is where we rely on the reversal patterns. In this example, we are relying on bullish engulfing pattern. This gives us a confirmation that there is a very high chance for the market going up. If you watch closely, the seller, that is the red candle, is trying to sell the stock at a higher volume in the third support line to push the stock price down. But the buyers are not allowing that to happen. They want to push the market up. They do that at the support line. You can see that the green candle has completely taken over the red candle. When this happens, this gives us third confirmation: the big green bullish candle. So why should we search for buying opportunities when we get this kind of pattern? This pattern clearly shows the buyers wants to push the market up. The third support line has become the buying zone. The seller has lost control over the buyers at the support zone. 
because the green candle has completely taken over the previous red candle so we buy at the high of green candle when the next candle opens and we have to keep stop loss at the low of green candle to ensure it is bullish engulfing candle pattern the green candle has to completely engulf the red candle even the wick of the red candle should not go above the green candle and please note this has to happen in the support line we will discuss about the remaining two candle patterns and then we will quickly open charts in the live market and see examples for that the second pattern is called bullish mother baby pattern so what happens in this pattern let us see that the stock is retracing and coming down to touch the support level near the support level a red candle is formed and immediately a green candle is formed inside the red candle watch closely even the wick of the green candle has to not break the red candle even if the green candle size is as big as this but it is inside the red candle then it's called mother baby candle pattern the red candle is called mother candle and the green candle is called baby candle we will buy at the high of the green candle when the next candle opens so when i say when the next candle opens is you will check the high of this green candle and wait for the next candle to open if it breaks the high of the previous green candle then immediately we will we will enter the trade and take our long position and you will keep stop loss at the low of the previous red candle traders i hope this is clear to you now the last candle pattern which is bullish three candle pattern the bullish three candle pattern can be formed in three different ways the first way at the support line a red candle is formed and immediately a green doji is formed in this situation we will buy at the high of green candle we'll keep stop loss at the low of green candle in the second scenario a red candle is formed a green doji is formed and again a green candle is formed in this scenario you will enter at the high of the big green candle stop loss at the low of the doji candle and in the last scenario a red candle is formed and a red doji is formed so this is not a reversal pattern correct so we will wait for it to form a green candle once green candle is formed we will enter at the high of the big green candle and stop loss at the low of the red doji traders shall we see some example of uptrend type 1 strategy in the live market okay let's start first i'll be showing you some example in higher time frame and then we will quickly discuss about downtrend type 1 i know a lot of you are interested in intraday trading so we will discuss some intraday rules and then we will see some examples on lower time frame which you can use for intraday okay and one more thing all these strategies which we are discussing will work irrespective of your country if you stay in usa canada india it doesn't matter it will work so let's start off with the first example let's see indus and bank daily chart okay this is your low this is your high this is your higher low and this is your higher high low high higher low and this is your higher high uptrend is confirmed correct 
नेक्स्ट तो स्टॉक इज रिट्रेसिंग अप टू सपोर्ट लेवल करेक्ट and finally it is giving us a reversal pattern here traders can you guess the reversal pattern okay let's do this let's play a game okay you will be given 15 seconds to guess the pattern let us see if you guess the patterns correctly ready your time starts now Time up. Did you guess the pattern correctly? Yes. Great. This is bullish three candle type one. Some might think this is a mother baby candle pattern, but watch closely. The green doji has broken the red candle, so it cannot be mother baby pattern. Correct. Even if you have got it wrong, don't worry. With little bit of time and patience, it's going to be very easy for you. Where will our entry and stop loss be? So for this pattern, our entry will be here, and stop loss will be here. Let's see that in the chart now. This will be your entry at the high of the green doji candle when the next candle opens. So you might have a question: Why when the next candle opens? Right? Let me explain that to you. because we are expecting the market to go up here and when the next candle opens and breaks the high of the doji you can be very sure that the stock is going to continue the uptrend if the next candle do not go up this will help us avoiding false breakout okay so let's go back to the chart at the low of the green doji we will keep our stop loss Our target will be previous swing high. In this case, the higher high was the previous swing high. So we will consider this as our target, and we will quickly check the risk to reward ratio that we are getting for this target. Traders, I have put risk to reward calculator, and notice that the risk to reward ratio for this trade is very less, which is one is to one. that's a very bad error ratio when you are working on a higher time frame so in this case what we will do is we will consider second type of target in the second type of target what we do is we consider the previous resistance level as a target so now let's see what will be our risk to reward ratio if we choose second type of target in the second type of target our risk to reward ratio is 4 this we can consider as a target ignoring the first type of target don't worry this kind of rr ratio can be easily achieved when you are working on higher time frame shall we see the second example okay now let's see the second example i can see another uptrend type one pattern in the same chart let us see if you can guess this time traders watch closely this is my low this is my high this is my higher low higher high now the stock is retracing up to this level correct i will draw a line support support third support correct and we are getting a reversal pattern here can you guess the pattern this time you have 15 seconds to guess the pattern shall we start go time up the answer is mother baby pattern did you get it right traders watch closely the green candle has not broken the high or the low of the previous red candle 
So that's the mother baby candle pattern for you. So we will enter here. Keep the stop loss here. Our target will be previous swing high. So when I check the risk to reward ratio for this trade, the risk to reward ratio is 2.5, which is a decent risk to reward ratio. So we can consider the first target. But in case the risk to reward ratio is not good, we will consider the previous resistant level. So this, if we consider this, this will be our second type of target. So when you're getting a decent risk to reward ratio in the first target, you can go ahead with that. But if you are not getting proper risk to reward ratio, then you can consider the second type of target. Traders, let us quickly discuss downtrend type one strategy with some examples. And then we will discuss about intraday rules. We will see some examples in lower time frame as well. So let us start off with a downtrend type one strategy. So in downtrend type one strategy, the market makes lower high and lower low, correct? Please watch carefully. This is my high. This is my low. This is my lower high. It is lower high because this high is lower than the previous high. And finally, my lower low. Lower low because the current low is lower than the previous low. Here my downtrend confirmation is complete. Now the market has to retrace and act as a support in the resistance level. If I draw a support line, the retracement level has to act as a third support line. This is my first support. And this is my second support and this is my third support the retracement is acting as a third support line so we have received the second confirmation at this retracement we need to get bearish reversal patterns which we will be discussing now the first one is bearish engulfing pattern the second one is bearish mother baby pattern and the final one is bearish three candle pattern. All these three patterns are completely opposite of the uptrend type one pattern. So in uptrend type one pattern, we used to find buying opportunity in the support zone. But in downtrend type one pattern, we will try to find shorting opportunity in the resistance level. So let's discuss all this bearish pattern one by one. So the first one, bearish engulfing pattern. The stock is in downtrend and it has retraced up to resistance level. At this level, a red candle is formed and it is completely engulfing the previous green candle, which clearly shows that there is selling pressure. The red candle has broken both the high and the low of the previous green candle. So we will enter at the low of the red candle and stop loss we will keep at the high of the red candle. Our entry will be when the next candle breaks the low of the current red candle. The next one is mother baby pattern. Again the stock is in downtrend and it has retraced up to resistance level. In this reversal pattern a green candle is formed. A red candle is formed inside the green candle without breaking the high or the low of the previous green candle. So we will enter at the low of the red candle and stop loss will be at the high of the green candle. You will enter when the next candle opens. So the final one is bearish three reversal pattern in which there can be three scenarios. The first one, a green candle is formed at the resistance level and immediately a red doji is formed. 
you will enter at the low of the red doji and stop loss will be at the high of the red doji the second scenario a green candle is formed a red doji is formed again a red candle is formed you will enter at the low of the red candle and stop loss will be at the high of the red doji in the third scenario a green candle is formed and a green doji is formed this is not a reversal pattern correct so we will wait until a red candle is formed once it is formed we will enter at the low of the new red candle stop loss will be at the high of the green doji traders now we will see some examples for downtrend type 1 first example we will check hiromoto ko traders watch closely this is my high this is my low this is my lower high and this is my lower low so at this point a downtrend is confirmed traders i'll quickly draw trend confirmation and show it to you now we will mark the retracement level if i draw a resistance line i can clearly see there are three touches and at this third support we are getting a reversal pattern readers can you guess the reversal pattern you have 15 seconds to guess the answer is bullish 3 type 1 a green candle and a red doji we will enter at the low of the red doji we will keep a stop loss at the high of the red doji and our target will be previous swing low so this is previous swing low we will set our target for this If I put the RR ratio calculator and see, I'm getting a good risk to reward ratio. So in this case, we can set the first type of target. In case we are not getting a good RR ratio, then we will set second type of target. Traders, we will quickly see another example and then discuss about intraday rules. Traders, let's open and check Arvind. Traders, this is an old one, but it's given very nice movement. This is my high. This is my low. This is my lower high, and this is my lower low. So at this point, a downtrend is confirmed. Traders, I'll quickly draw trend confirmation and show it to you. If I draw a resistance line I can clearly see there are three touches and at this third support we are getting a reversal pattern Readers can you guess the reversal pattern you have 15 seconds to guess Traders the answer is bearish three candle pattern scenario number 3 a green candle is formed a green doji is formed and then we wait for the red candle once that is formed we will enter at the low of the red candle and stop loss will be at the high of the green doji i will enter at the low of the new red candle I will keep my stop loss at the high of the green doji 
and my target will be this previous swing low okay now let me quickly check the risk to reward ratio for this so if i check the risk to reward ratio for this i'm getting more than two reward i can use the first type of target for this traders i hope you have understood the type 1 strategy for price action if you have any doubts related to this topic please mention that in the comment section below i will be more than happy to assist you considering the length of the video we will be doing a part 2 version of this lecture series in the second part we will be covering intraday rules how to trade in intraday and avoiding common mistakes we will be discussing about type 2 strategy and you will be learning how to trade in common patterns like flag pattern double top double bottom cup and handle etc and we will be discussing about trade management which is one of the most important topic some of you who is watching this video might be a beginner we will be making sure that you will be getting contents which will nurture you and help you grow in your trading career i'm sure we will be discussing more exciting stuff along the way if you found this lecture series useful please like share and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss out our upcoming videos